Hey YouTube, um, I've actually had to record this a couple of times because I'm trying to figure out how to, um, videotape something else that's in front of me so that I can't see the screen so that I don't know if the object is in the camera, if that makes any sense. Um, and I apologize beforehand because my voice is kind of hoarse because I've had a cold for the past couple of days, which really, really sucks. And I actually I lost my voice a couple of days ago, but now I have it back. But it's still kind of um, iffy. But today is Thursday, you guys. I'm leaving early tomorrow morning to go to the Detroit airport because my flight comes at, I mean, leaves at 10:16. And I'm, I'm actually going to be on the plane for like seven-ish, eight-ish hours because I'm flying from Detroit to Chicago. That takes about an hour and a half. Um, I've, then I have a two-hour layover in Chicago, and then I'm flying um, to San Francisco, which takes seven hours. Um, but actually, because of the time difference, I get there at 3 p.m., and... Um, that's actually really early compared to other exchange students because of a lot of them are are um, don't get there until like five and so one person doesn't even get there until nine p.m. so it's pretty so I guess I get there really early but um so I'm really really tired and sweaty and gross because I've been like running around for five hours like since five p.m. I've been running upstairs downstairs inside out trying to get everything finalized and actually I started packing like three days ago but um, there was still a lot of other stuff to do um, actually after I finish this video I'm probably gonna go through everything mentally to make sure I remembered everything because it would suck if I forgot something but um so in this video I'm gonna talk about um, currency and how to use money in Japan, um, host family presence, packing, etc. Um, so I actually just got my yen two days ago from the bank. Ooh, it's um three hundred dollars worth of yen. It's, um, it's two five thousand yen bills which is fifty dollars um three ten three one thousand yen bills which is ten dollars each and two two thousand yen bills which is twenty dollars each and that's actually only twenty two hundred twenty dollars but like we had to pay three hundred dollars because of the really really sucky exchange rate i really hope like the exchange rate in japan is better because um other than that i also have five traveler's checks. Um, this is like, each one is worth a hundred dollars. I can um, exchange them into yen when I'm in Japan. And um, YFU recommends traveler's checks because they say that's the safest and most convenient option. And I think so too because if you lose a traveler's check, you won't lose the money because people can't take out money from it unless they know your signature and can copy it exactly. Um, a lot of other exchange students are using credit cards, or, I mean, debit cards. Um, I was going to do that too, but then I decided that was too difficult because um, a lot of stores in Japan don't accept debit cards, so you would have to go to a bank and withdraw the money, which is basically what traveler's checks are. You go to a bank and withdraw the money. Well, traveler's checks are a lot safer. Like, I mean, a debit card, if you lose it, people can just spend it. Yeah, but, um, um, so that's that. So I'm bringing about $800 to Japan, and my dad actually gave me, like, a hundred American dollars to use in, to use in San Francisco. Um, <coughs> I'm not sure what, I don't think I'll need to buy anything there, but, you know, just in case. Um, also, um, this is my flight itinerary. It's really marked up because I drew a lot of stuff on it. I drew a lot of stuff on it. 
just to like m label like when the departure times and arrival times are. Um, um, oh yeah, you can't use a cell phone. This is like a tangent, but I just saw my cell phone on the table and I was like, I remember you can't use a cell phone in Japan because there's no signal unless you like buy an international calling card or buy a cell phone there. But since it's only for six weeks, um, I don't think there's a point. But I am still bringing my cell phone so that <coughs> I can use it in California and stuff. But anyway, back to the point. This is my 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 name tag. There's a little thing. Um, it's really cool, and I'm really excited to wear it. In the front is my name. Back side pens. I really like pens, just so you know. Um, inside, <coughs> I put things like my passport, my visa, my green card, because I'm not a citizen of the U.S., um, my plane tickets, stuff like that. And since it will be around my neck, it will be really safe and close to me. Um, this is my... So that's what I'm going to do. Inside is like my wallet, copies of stuff, gum, and etc. Um, uh, this is my backpack that I'm going to use as a carrying case. Inside is like a notebook. I'm going to put my laptop in here too. Um, and I actually have some shoes in here because I didn't want to put it into my suitcase. So I just have a bag of shoes in here. And just like stuff to do on a plane and stuff like cards, chargers, I don't even know. Um, and also, <coughs> this is my suitcase. <coughs> um... There's actually not that much stuff in there, I don't think. And it's only like 30-ish pounds. Um, this is, um, sorry, something a baseball hat I'm going to give to my host dad. Um, and <coughs> I'm going to give my host mom it's this Michigan um, t-shirt um, I also bought a photo book of Michigan it's called um, it's called Michigan yesterday and today um, it's like has Michigan back 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 in history but also like current stuff and like interesting places in Michigan. I actually don't know a lot of these places. <laughs> so um, two postcards because I thought that would be cool. Um, the only thing is they're not like photographs. I wanted them to be like photographs of places but they're just drawings. I mean I guess that's okay too. Um, I also got These jelly beans, um, because jelly beans are pretty rare in Japan. And also, there's 41 flavors, so I think it will be cool to try them all with my host family. And also, like I, I myself haven't have never actually had like jelly beans more than a couple of times. I actually don't like them that much. But maybe I'll grow to like them this summer. Um, I'm also going to give my host family um, maple syrup because they don't really have that in Japan. But since I'm a really big, big procrastinator, um, I, we won't, I won't be getting that until tomorrow. Um, on our way to the airport, we'll be stopping by a store and getting some maple syrup. Um, so, yeah. Also, um, I have a lot of stuff um, in here. Um, gift bags. Um, there's tissue paper in here, wrapping paper. Because why if you told us that, that um, we should 
wrap it when we're in Tokyo because um, if we wrap it now, like the airplane customs people, they might like open the wrapping paper just to check that like there's not anything bad in there. And also the wrapping paper might rip um, in the suitcase and stuff, so it's just safer to wrap it all there. And since Japanese people really um, value like the presentation, so like wrapping is really important. So it's, yeah, but um, that's basically it. Um, I think I'm gonna try to get some footage um, at the airport, maybe even on the airplane, but I don't, I don't know if they let you do that. But if they do, I will. And since I, when I have a two hour layover in Chicago, I'll definitely get some footage of me and the two other people I'm traveling with, because in all of my, um, uh, in all of my flights, I'm riding with the two other people who got the same scholarship as me. So I think I'm going to get to know them really, really well. Yep. That's basically it. See you guys later. I'm going to try and go to sleep early.